Hi. Hi. Oh, welcome. You messed it up. I know. I got this is our last one too, Megan. Okay, okay, redo. Like we're gonna restart. Ready? Okay. Welcome to Screw the Ingenue with the Lady Corbett and Megan Bartley. Did we do that the first season? I think we totally stopped doing that. Oh yeah, we did. But like that was last that's true. Y'all know us now. I mean, <laughs> if you don't know my name, if you're I... like watching this episode for the first time ever. They're like, who the hell are these? Oh my girls? gosh, I also want to sneeze. It may come out later. I'm just apologizing in advance. <laughs> that's so gross. Don't be gross. Our right, it's our last episode oh of the season that's 10 guys yeah. two digits and this is our second season we have been going strong on this we have podcast. we have i hope you guys have been enjoying it um we have kind of like this dedicated list of followers, followers. which is great we love you guys so much thank you to our <laughs> five friends yeah basically <laughs> five friends and family and family um okay so first of all what do you feel about the season megan like are you happy with what we did <laughs> I feel like this season, when I was like looking chaotic. back at like answers, it yeah. wasn't chaotic, but it was like, I feel like, <laughs> I realized like, I feel like it was a lot of like my choices. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Look back well, at this. Okay. Like, okay. literally, like Greatest my showman, choices. I think I picked. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, you. but then he lets you pick Dog fight. You pick Shrek. Shrek. You pick my fair, fair lady. lady. I picked Bye Bye Birdie. Right. And then we did the ten things in the breakfast, breakfast club. club. So that was, so that was of... really cool that we did those like things. But we'll get to that anyway. Um, but like, okay. how did you? You felt it was chaotic. Well, okay. So I feel like for the first season we were like, oh, we're doing a podcast. So we're okay. like, let's really like think about what we're doing. But this season we're like, okay, okay, what show you want to talk about? <laughs> well, to be fair. Some life changes have happened. It's true. Delaney, what happened in your life that made things a little bit... A, a, a job? Yeah, Delaney job. got a job. I got a job. So I will say, which is amazing, but yeah, it has gone a little crazy. So we were like, uh, what works for you today? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. And, but we still made time and we still yeah. did things and it just like, it was just like a lot different. It was a different feel this season. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Well, what was your favorite musical that we did? <sighs> okay, so, okay. Just favorite musical in yeah. general? Not not favorite episode that we did. Okay. Favorite musical. Favorite musical. That we um, did cover this <laughs> week. I would say, um, just because of, like, uh, like, nostalgia with it. Like, it's kind of a toss-up. Right. Between Bio Birdie and um, Shrek. Because Shrek, as we talked about, I was in Shrek. Yeah. Have all those memories. And then Bio Birdie, because it just always makes me happy. Live! And that's the musical. And I just loved it when I was little. So those are those were mine. What about you? I was I had a hard time because like this season was filled with basically <laughs> all of my it's favorite true. shows. It's true. I think I know your answer. Um, I don't think you do. Because oh. I actually, when I put down to it, I was like, hmm, Great Showman. That was one of my, because it was the first one. Yeah, yeah. it was the first one. I see that. Like, and I just remember just being like really excited while we were watching it and like we were gushing. I would say stuff. our Tinder game that we did with the Oh my god, that was, really that, was, funny. that was cute. No, but that's an episode that we filmed, not oh, our favorite musical we watched. Cute. Least favorite musical that we watched. I know Delaney's answer. Delaney's answer for least favorite musical we watched is My Fair Lady. Wow. Put me on blast. Well, am I wrong? Okay, it's Okay, so out of all of them, yes. That was, <laughs> That's what that I'm was saying. Was no, I'm not putting you on blast. I'm speaking fat. Okay, okay, fine. And you, what was yours? What was yours? She, like, she don't even remember what was his. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm scared. Well, because I don't make my, like, hate as public as you do. That is so true. Okay, what is it? It's Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, God. Yeah. That was my favorite. Song. I know. But I think it's because, like, you grew up with Bye Bye Birdie, right? Well, and you grew up with My Fair Lady. Right. And so it's like there are those. So we hate each other's life choices. <laughs> so we are not compatible. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I don't like, but that's the thing. It's like, I don't hate Bye Bye Birdie. I like, hate. I will come. No, you do you hate My Fair Lady. Don't, don't even. Either. Don't even try to pretend. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. So we can, but that, you know what? That's sweet, though. Because we were like, I know you don't love it, but I will still. I will still watch talk it. About it. No, talk for an hour about but it. But I don't hate it. Like the thing is, like I mean, like I still love like numbers from yeah. like Telephone yeah. Hour and like got a lot of living. Okay. So favorite episode that we filmed. 
Okay, so favorite episode. Um, okay, so it's going to be all toss up. So Greatest Showman yeah. for being a known musical. Right. Because I just loved when we did Other Side. Uh-huh. And, um, <laughs> and I, obviously this season we started filming in my room. Right. Thank you, my room. Thank you. You know, Harry we, used to be um, there. R.I.P. Harry. R.I.P. Harry. Um, and we just did a whole number. And that was yeah. super fun. And, like, our questions were super fun. But then I also just really loved doing the... Um, Creative yeah. musical. I thought yeah. that was super fun too. My favorite episode was uh, the Ten Things I Hate About You. Yay! Because I think it was because exactly what you said. It's like because we got to create our own and right. we got to like put songs that we liked and we yeah. all uh, got to create our own cast and stuff like that. Yeah. And Delaney and I are very creative individuals, yeah. so like by the fact that we got to do whatever we wanted, that was the best. And that I hope whoever like watched those episodes like also thought about choices for for it. You know, I right. kind of wanted to put that out there. Be like, hey, make up your own. Make up your like, own choices. Okay. Um, we don't have a, like a least favorite episode, right? I didn't put that okay, down good. because it's I don't want. Negative here. We don't want. We don't to, want to put that. We don't want to put that. Okay. All right. So we are gonna play a game. Oh, I'm so excited. So we are gonna play a game uh, called. Who is, what is it called? Who is more likely Who's to? Who is most likely? So we each have been given these really fancy name cards. And I understand that, like, in the camera, they're backwards. But, like, you get it. There's an M, there's a D. So purple and is Megan. Sorry. And red is Lee. <laughs> sorry, Spotify. Uh, you should watch the You're YouTube. You're missing out. Uh, but we'll obviously we'll have reactions. Oh, my God. You picked me. Whoa, Delaney. <laughs> exactly. Um, so it's going to be really, really fun. Here's the thing, though, Delaney. I'm going to need your paper to read the questions. Oh. Okay. That's why you were like, I won't look at what you oh, put. Oh, that sucks. I, that's why you said don't write it down. Fine, fine, just don't look. I won't, don't. I won't, I won't, I won't. Okay. I'm, I just glance at it to remember what the okay. question is. Okay, okay. okay. So okay. first question. Okay. <laughs> Who is most likely to show up early for rehearsals? Ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Yeah, me. <laughs> Megan Bartlett like the pair because okay. I just remember, like, was it... Delaney comes in like literally like minutes before. No, she's lying. She no, no, lying. because like there was like I still remember uh we were in Tracy and it was like I think you were it was in the Heights and you just like cruised in when we had been there for like an hour. Okay, well, bitch, I was in the show for that one, so I <laughs> could cruise in. No, but the thing with Megan is like when I was in shows or she was like um you know assistant a stage manager, like, right? So she had to be there like all. Okay, but early. like I am always early. Okay, okay, okay. Between you and me, yes, you yes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, well, then I feel like I, okay. Who is most likely to be late? To late. Who is most likely to be late to rehearsals? One, two, three. I mean, you knew this one. Well, Delaney. that was like, the opposite answer. <laughs> it was. So, um, okay, fine, whatever. Fine, whatever. But I will say it's like when I say that, I don't think that you're always coming late. Right. To I'm rehearsals. not coming with like an iced coffee. Like, hey guys. Hey guys. Get dressed. You know, whatever. Come on. Come on. Okay. Who is most likely to forget a line? One, two, three. <laughs> Delaney Corbin. Oh my god, y'all. Um, but yes. okay, but do you have a reason for saying yourself? Because I actually don't. It's just a gut feeling. Well, do you remember anything goes at Mochi? Oh my god, I do. Delaney opened the show with "In Northern Days," and I remember I felt no. like so bad for you. I completely forgot like halfway through, <laughs> and then I eventually got back on track. And yeah, I would I would forget a lot for sure. Yeah, well, sure. Yeah, it's true. But you know what? You'll you are professional about it. Exactly so good right. Sure. I'm not like yeah. Okay, this. This question makes me laugh because Delaney didn't know how to respond to it, and I just think that's so funny. I, she's who weird. would you consider to be the most powerful woman in the world? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Delaney and Megan. That's what I thought. It's just a fun question. You don't need to think so seriously. Well, I about thought, it. yeah, I thought there was like some weird theory you were like trying to put out there. Absolutely like, not. We're both like, badass hello, bitches, it's both so like it's both of us. We're we're hyping each other up. Hi, pipe, pipe. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So next great, one. Great. So this one kills me. Uh, literally. Um, <laughs> who who is most likely to accidentally kill someone? <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Megan yeah. Bartlett. I feel like I feel like you guys probably at home know this as well. I feel like it would be like 
I would trip and like my knife would go into. Oh, I like, like instantly had a thought of you like backstage and you accidentally tripped and like fell on like the rope pulley and then a thing and it, like fell down and hit someone on the head. Right, right. Yeah, I totally that, see it. Totally like, see it. So then the next answer, the next question is, who is most likely to kill someone on purpose? <laughs> One, two, three. Absolutely, Delaney Corbett. Like, there's no, like... I mean, so, like, no, I'm not going to go to jail, but... No, um, no. But, yeah, like, I'm a but, Scorpio. But, and like, will... also, if, like, it, like, you're not going to do anything unless you're going to succeed at it. It'd be more like poison. Like, oh, you, you know, undercover. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. But, like, with full intention. Like, oh, yeah, I'm sure, for sure. Okay. Who is most likely to meet a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, I don't know. One, two, three. Delaney! Yeah. Well, because you're, like, way more, like, spiritual. Spiritual. Well, I mean, like, in terms of, like, not, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like you would be, like, I don't believe in ghosts. You, I do believe in ghosts, but, oh, I, but I like, I think that, like, because you're so, like, in touch with, like, you get readings well, done and like yeah, I do get readings done and also like Timothy Chalamet and he's basically Timothee. like the ghost of a Victorian boy. Yeah, like, he it's looks true. Like one. So, so basically, I he is a ghost. Might like a ghost in a way too. I like it. Hey, I had a crush on ghosts. I had the crush on Casper. Casper. Yeah, oh when God. he was a boy. Devin Seawall. Oh, yes, and now and so then cute. this is a this is a Devin Seawall. Seriously, fan. like fan club. He also had the hair that I'm obsessed with. Oh, uh, oh, like the, younger. Yeah, like you know, like well, the, swoop? the swoop. Yeah, he was super cute. Anyway, okay. <laughs> who is likely to have a crush on those <laughs> Both of us. He's old. Don't worry. Um, okay. Who is most likely to... <laughs> who is most likely don't to be that. most sarcastic? One, two, three. Megan. May! My mom absolutely hates it. She literally <sighs> hates it so much. She's That's like... your personality. I think so, too. You're Sagittarius. I speak in sarcasm. Get over it. And it's your way of flirting. So oh, my God, it is. Everything she does is <laughs> It sarcasm. oozes out of me. And if you can't get down with sarcasm, get out. Ooh. Oh, but, like, but that's also how I determine, like, if I actually like a guy. Right. If they can, they can oh, go the with it. Because, Banta like, in the, the world. Banta. Side note, like, real quick tangent. Well, so, no. Well, kind of. <laughs> But, so Delaney has this habit where she speaks in an Australian accent mm. sometimes, but she has one word that she says in particular. Cleo. Right. So I, and I can't speak in an Australian accent, except for I've been watching Love Island Australia. Oh. So now I can it. do, um, toy, uh, I'm sorry guys, excuse me? Toy little number. And, oh, um, and, uh, see you later. Well, it's my really good, it's Megan. my ERs that I've mastered. Yeah. Um, but it's because I'm watching Love Island right. Australia because literally there's one character, this guy named Adam, who literally says, "That's a tight little number." So, do you want to move to Australia now? No. Oh, okay. They still have a lot of crazy animals. I don't want to go down there. Um, okay. So that was the tangent. Uh, most likely to forget important birthdays or <clears throat> events. Ready? Uh, one, two, three. Delaney? Um, I love how we just know these instantly. I, that's what, I think these are pretty clear cut. But um, it's not, I feel like we're painting you out to be like this horrible yeah, person you who like, me, like murders horrible. people. Murders it or is a terrible person. But no, I, but I don't think that that's it. I just think that like, I think that if it's somebody who's really important to you, yes. you will not forget something. Right. But if it's like some Joe Schmo in class and you're like, I don't like you, you're not going to remember his birthday. Yeah, I mean, there's so much going up here that I just don't have room for all that she information. She has lot stuff going on. She's got thoughts. She's got th plots to kill. Can you believe it? Like, I, yeah. So, I'm sorry. No, I definitely... But so but far, we're in 100%. We are 100% on um, all of these. We haven't had any, like, missteps here. Okay, okay. Um, so then, uh, okay. Who is most likely to break a character on stage? Uh, one, okay. two, three, go. Yeah. Megan okay, Bartlett. Good, 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 good. Um, and I get, who is it? Sarah says I'm unprofessional because of it. <laughs> um, because, but it's like, yeah. Well, and I will say, like, to all the casting directors, I swear, like, I'm yeah. a good person. So, However, um, you know. When I'm in the ensemble of Oklahoma and I'm not a dancer, like, there's not a lot for me to do. So, yeah, I do fuck around on stage and I have a... Yes. But, like, I appreciate that. Because like, you're not, like, actually distracting. No. Like, you're, like, if someone was, like, always, like, so focused and everything, yeah. then, like, chill a little, yeah. dude. Like, no, you're trying to make things fun. I make, because, like, the thing, the fun part about it is that you can't do it to an obvious standpoint where the audience can tell. 
Right. Like, it's more of like, I go up to you and I'm like, like during Les Mis, right. like I used to do this to John Rinaldi all the time in Les Mis, we had like a peasant scene or whatever mm -hmm. like that, and I'd be like, you killed our son, or something random, right? Like, and those you, inside jokes. Yeah, inside jokes that like are obviously not. Yeah, I mean, that's what theater's saying. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, who is most likely to fall asleep while watching a movie? Ready? One, two, three. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? We put different answers. She put Megan, I put Delaney, because like, I just, no. When, I, when have I, when have asleep? I ever fallen We're asleep? Like, what the fall asleep? I just feel like if it was a movie that you don't like, you'll just kind of like, okay, that's true, but I would go on my phone. I wouldn't sleep. <laughs> but I feel like you like naps. <laughs> I do like naps. And if like someone made you watch like a boring movie or you didn't watch it, you would just fall asleep. No. Uh, I guess we're not. Actually we're good not friends, so compatible. Because we um, I thought you didn't fall asleep. No. Uh, well, okay. I'll give you a little bit because it's like I also like to put movies on to go to bed to, but that's what the purpose of falling asleep. Again, dog fight. We fell asleep. Yeah, we both Woke fell asleep. To the war, the Vietnam War. <laughs> we both, so we we're both right. All right, so we we're both right. We we're both we right. We're both to each other. Okay. okay, so let's see. Oh, well, I think this weird, he's kind of said this, but it's a variation it? of it. Who is most likely to say the wrong line? Like, so it's not like you forgot a line, but like oh, okay. you said something out of order or you said like yeah. the line was like, hey, Henry, and it's actually it's supposed to be, hi, Henry. Okay, well, okay. Ready? hello. Well, Okay, ready? One, two, three. Now, yeah. I said Delaney, but I will say that, like, I also am a paraphrase. I, like, I paraphrase a lot, and it gets me in trouble. Okay, well, that's I'm... not really the same, same wrong line. Okay, well, do you I have a story that. where you forgot a line? Or, oh. or, or um, no, you said a different line. I thought you were going to do the Little Women off to Massachusetts. I mean, that line. was that. You all know that iconic you story. You know that story at this point. She just kept saying off to Massachusetts <laughs> instead of off to Massachusetts for Little Women. And then I said it in, you know, luckily tech. rehearsal. It was tech. Rehearsal. It was tech. But, so, yeah, I would definitely say. But I'm so happy you did because, it's you know. It's a great memory. It's, it's a great such, memory such a great and memory. I will recall that for the rest of my life. Me too. Me I'm just too. saying. Okay. Uh, who is most likely to be emotional? Um, this is hard. <laughs> It is hard. Let me think about it for a second. Because, um, mean, um <laughs> we're both really not, like, super I, We're not emotional. super emotional, so, like. But if we're going to pick one, I think we have the same answer. I think so. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, we picked each We picked ourselves. We That's picked so ourselves. funny. Well, because I, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I've seen you see me either. But okay, guys, I'm Cancer Moon, and I cry a lot actually. But I just don't cry in front of people. Yeah, you're because, very cool because there's your Scorpio side. Exactly, exactly. Um, Whereas I, I, I had not to... much for you <laughs> like ten minutes ago um, <laughs> during the fucking Evan Hansen podcast. Uh, no, yeah. but I'm also the same way. I I don't like crying in front of people yeah. because I don't like people thinking that I'm weak. Or whatever. When we know it's not a sign of weakness. No, it's we not a sign of weakness. Hell, Jory cries all the time, and she's a strong-ass, badass woman. For me, it's like, it just, like, leaves. Like, there's, I guess it's, like, not that I don't think you can handle someone crying. Yeah. But I feel like if it's going to be, like, an awkward moment for a second, then why am I going to cry? Hello. Because um, you feel it. I guess. I, I guess i just never been around you where I felt like I needed to cry. Which is good. <laughs> good. And I don't make you cry. Well, and I... Yeah, because, like, but the thing is, like, I typically cry when I'm, like, at, like, my breaking point in terms yeah. of, like, yeah. stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we've never been around each other in those moments, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. Yay so for us. us. It's good, but you can cry in front of me, too, okay? Yeah, you can cry in front of me, too. Let's see who breaks it first. Oh, cool. Okay, uh, who is most likely to forget a prop? Uh, do you have your answer in your head? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, Delaney. Me. Have um, you ever forgotten a prop? 
I think I have, yes. You know, the thing with <laughs> prop tables is, yeah, they're great because they're like right outside and stuff like that. But I just feel like when you have so many things, like, okay, for example, when yeah. I was in Wizard of Oz, a trial I got, I had to do so many things. I was also part of the tech because I like made the witch go into her trap door. Right. It was the scariest thing ever, guys. I had to like roll this heavy ass thing i was underneath it i thought i was gonna die every night while i just oh, the jitterbug so, like because you're like you're responsible i'm responsible why. and i'm small so i can fix that little thing <laughs> that I want to. but they're just sometimes just a lot of things and maybe you forget a prop and you just fake it for a second <laughs> um i can honestly say i've never forgotten a prop but that's also because i am super paranoid and, and anal um so what i do like even for what i in mattress, I had a bunch of little props and stuff like that, and I would always like pre-show. I would always, I always, if I have a lot of props, I collect them and put them at my dress table. Okay. No, because like I'm sorry, no, it like, makes sense. I don't trust the public because the thing is, like a lot of people, and it's it's human nature. Yes. You see something really interesting on a table, you want to yeah. play with it, yeah. and so I don't trust people, and so I bring it to my station, and like because a lot of times also like you go back to your dressing room yeah. like in between scenes so then it's like right there and I don't have to worry about it. You're like also really responsible just because you've had you've been put in positions where you've had to be super responsible. Right. So But you're also responsible. I am, but it's like a different you kind. have like paid to be responsible. <laughs> I've been paid to be responsible. Um so yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. who is most likely to play a villain? Uh this is great. One, two, three. If you all didn't say Delaney, like, you <laughs> haven't been watching very carefully. But the thing, I actually had a hard time with this because, yeah. like, I, like, actually, I probably wouldn't be cast as a villain, like, what, if you're looking at me, right? But it's, like, who's going to, like, embody a villain pretty well? Oh, yeah. I think, I mean, you would be good at it, too. I think well. so, too. I think villains are actually, like, really villains fun. Villains are so complex and stuff. Like, and so it's, like, I definitely think that we both could do it. But yeah. But, like, if I was going to, like, but see, the thing is, like, if you are going to cast purely based on the person's like vibe that they give off, <laughs> <laughs> evil laugh, cute evil laugh, yeah. that's you. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, like it's I not like a bad it. thing to be. No, I like it. There was it. like, what was the thing I sent you the other day where it was like, I was like, this reads the this this is Delaney vibe all over it. It said it was a picture that said, um, "Heroes put the world before uh, before you." Villains put you before the world, and then it said, "Be a villain." <laughs> and I, I was like, that for me. "I was like, that's Delaney." I mean, yeah, thank you. but that's an interesting way to look at it. it. I like it. Um, okay, who is uh, uh, who is most likely to miss out on a cast party because they'd rather be at home chilling in their bed or hanging out with their awesome family? Uh, one, two, three. Now I'll put me as well. I put you, but it's like, like a, I'm like down here, like I'm 25%, but it's full Delaney. It's definitely full me. But because when I was picturing this, like you're at, like when you're at a cast party or even at a party, I would say you are like, you love like to be the center of attention. Woo! No, but that's a good thing. Like, I just feel like that is your personality. Like you like to have fun in these where I'm yeah. a little more like laid back in that sense. Fucking on the back wall judging uh, people. I'm not, well, okay, a little judgy, no. but not not fully judgy. But yeah, I just you're um, an observer. It depends on like what the party is. I think right. like there's a lot of people that I like there, and I can be like super comfortable. Yeah. So we have some things going on. There's housework. There's housework. Um, then I will go and have fun. But like overall, it's you know you're gonna have fun wherever you right go most of the time. So the thing with that, and I think also that's why it contributes to like why I don't go to cast parties all the time, is because like I am an ambivert. So it's like <laughs> fancy terms. Pulling here. all these big words. What does that mean, Megan? So that it? is a mix between an extrovert and an introvert. Oh, okay. So I recharge like an introvert. I need time Makes to sense. myself. Makes sense. To chill out, and it's like. And being with people exhausts me. Now, when I'm with people, I feel the need to turn it, my personality on to its, like... But you know what's weird? And what? this is, like, a little astrology, like, sidebar here. It's, like, when you think about rising signs, right? Okay, yeah. I just put this out there. It's how you... Present. Uh, present yourself to the people. Mm -hmm. So, like, a party, for example. Yeah. 
And I'm a Gemini rising, which is very different than a Scorpio or right. a sign. And you're a Capricorn, Capricorn rising, which is very different from your fire Sagittarius. Exactly. So that which, is almost weird. But it's it like, is very interesting because, like, when I think Capricorn, I don't think, like, no, the party. That's a I fire sign trait. Or, like, air. So, I don't know. Maybe it just depends on the person that you're with. True, true. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Okay. Oh, and also, sorry to Sarah and Blake because I missed their – We did a, they did a cast party for um, South Pacific. And I skipped that one because I had worked the next day. And Wasn't that like years ago? <laughs> yeah, but we still bring it up to this day. <coughs> Weird. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Who is most likely to have a showmance? Okay, okay. ready? One, two, three. Yeah. D Excuse me? Delaney no, Corbett, no, no. you had one. Did did you did you or did you not go on a date with a it cast not, member? It was not a showman. It was the light. First of all, <laughs> just okay. because you no. ended up not no, 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 no. liking no. the guy no, no, later. No, no. Don't be rude. <laughs> no, no. First of all, showman is when <laughs> there is something going on throughout the entire show, and that is. Miss Megan Bartlett. No, no, because when have I ever gotten anything out of besides innocent flirting? Okay, I innocent flirting, I would still consider a showman. Yes, yes, yes. Baloney. Yes. And usually a showman. I don't know. I feel like it's when the two characters are also maybe love interest in the show, and then they feel those feelings outside the show as well. Anyways, um, yeah, no, it's not me. That it's is not a me. Bunch of baloney. Baloney. Because, like, no, I. Just because I went on one date with not even a cast member, a <laughs> not or any less, a check member, um, that's not showman at all. I don't agree. I don't agree with you. Okay, well, <laughs> here we go. All right, so then, no, uh, who is most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse? Um, okay, ready? One, two, three. Megan. Yeah, I definitely would be. <laughs> but I just think it's because, like... I'm, like, too bougie. Like, I <laughs> would be like, okay, I'm gonna die. So, so like, you would, like, happen. I, I would, feel like you would try to go... You'd be, like, a final girl. You would try to stick to the end of it. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's, like, because I, like... I feel like in situation, not that I've ever been in a zombie apocalypse, oh, my friends. Yeah, I know, yeah. surprising. Um, but like in situations where bad things are happening, I mm -hmm. tend to be like, yeah, okay, well, like let's. I'm a problem solver, yes, so it's like, are. and I'm not gonna just let things like take me. So no, I <laughs> take you. <laughs> Take me away. That's yeah. my mom's favorite song. She does the dance. She goes, take me away. Uh, really random that that came out of a zombie apocalypse question. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, who is most likely to spill something on themselves? Like a drink. Okay. Okay. Uh, ready? One, two, three. Yeah, Delaney. <laughs> Y'all are messy. I'm messy. <laughs> it's true, but like, you know, you're also clean. So it's like. So, like, obviously, yeah, I'm clean. But I will say that I think anytime I'm eating something, without doubt, I will. No, it's not. We're talking, we're talking about eating. We're just No, but I'm drinks. just saying, like, spilling. I will spill something. Yeah. Probably. And you also have large boobs, so it's a catcher. Oh, <laughs> I guess you can tell on YouTube every episode. <laughs> <laughs> With the low cut shirts? Hey, so much the YouTube. Okay. Um, next question, who is most likely to make a mess while eating? And I feel like at home you guys can know the answer. One, two, three. Yeah, Delaney Corbett. Shh. <laughs> can I just say, one of the first things that I was actually really shocked about with you when I was first getting to know you yeah. is the amount of mess that you make. Because okay. the thing is, what? is that you're a slow eater. That's true. Right. So it's like I'm watching you and you're eating so slow, but then it's like you take one bite of a chip and I look at your plate and there's stuff around your plate. And I'm like, how is that even physically possible? Like, did you literally, while I blinked, go and like. Yeah, and I'm not like a, like I'm not like like messily eating no. food or anything. I don't know how it happens. I don't I either really because don't. like I you don't really have messy. like, you don't have food all over your face no. or anything like that. You're really clean. It but it's like. It goes everywhere. I don't I, know how to explain it. It is honestly like. <laughs> The most mind-boggling yeah, thing ever. It's true. But you, when it, when we leave the table, you can look and see where Delaney sat. Yeah, I don't always like clean up the mess. No, right? you don't. So I'm, you... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay. okay. Good one. Uh, okay. Still doing pretty well. I love That's this. Whole thing. Um, <laughs> who is most likely to win in a video game? Like, well, playing Wait, video playing games. against yeah. each other? Yeah, okay. we're playing against each other. Oh, okay. Who this is most hard. Likely, okay. Who is most likely to win? Um, okay, ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Me. Delaney. Yeah, wow. me. Okay. Only because you don't really play video games. I do play video games. Why don't you ever play with them with me? I don't play social ones. I play, like, game ones. Like, I'm really into, like, Final Fantasy. Oh, what are you into? Final Fantasy. Okay, so why do you think I would beat you, then? Well, and I go off of... I we My family and I, we also play uh, Mario Party all the okay. time. So... I just think that you would be like my sister in terms of like witchcraft. So it's like you would just like push a bunch of buttons and somehow like manage mm. to beat me. Oh, so you're saying I'm not actually like strategic in my mood? Like I'm like. Well, maybe, but it doesn't appear to be that way. Whereas like okay. I think that I, especially because like I am so competitive, yeah, that I start to like really overthink things and mm. I'm like, okay. A B B A A B B B like okay. and so it's like I just think that you and Mister are just more natural with it and because you guys are relaxed like you beat right 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 um so that's yeah. why yeah that's my sense. theory I'm a gamer girl at room my gamer my girl. y'all I didn't know my job is actually like to play a gamer games. girl almost. If you want to know, just message me. But that's all I'm going to say. Slip into her DMs. She said it, folks. Anyways, yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, who is most likely to be a sore loser? Um, one, oh. two, three. Yeah, I think I just gave that answer away. She said me. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I am. I will, to be, I oh, will say, though. Okay, the finger. The finger went up. <laughs> the finger went up. I am a sore loser, but I'm a fun sore loser. Yeah. Because, like, I'm not going to name names. Well, I will because they'll never listen to my podcast, okay? <laughs> my aunt is like... <laughs> the shade. Not my aunt. Uh, she's my aunt by marriage. Okay. So that kind of narrows it down. Cool. She's not listening. No. Um, She is like the biggest sore loser, but in like Ooh. a really like uncomfortable yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. it's like... So like we play like... We play family games. We play um, uh, Catan. Okay. Okay. And she is such a bitter loser that her husband has to, like, basically throw the game so that she'll get over it. Like, so it's weird. so gross. Like, I'm not like that. I'm a fun sore loser in terms yeah. of, like, you suck! And, like, I just, like... Yeah, like, I feel like you would, like, keep, like, the joke going or right. something it's throughout like, the night. But it wouldn't be, like... It wouldn't be like, some, no, like, no, no, I'm no. actually butthurt about it because it's a right. game. Like, right. you know what I mean? But it just... It's fun to me. It's like, It goes back to the whole teasing thing. Like, I just really, like, enjoy that. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Um, who is, sorry, oh, sorry, uh, who is most likely to get married in Vegas? Okay. Um, yeah, um think about this one. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Ready? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Oh, oh we, picked I, we picked each other. I think you. Why? Because, oh, hostel. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, because <clears throat> I think that like. When you want to do something, you'll do it without the fluff. You know what I mean? Like, not that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like if you met somebody and, like, you guys were, like, wow, like, this is... If I met somebody in Vegas? No, but, uh-huh. like, in general, or yeah. right, right, whatever. Like, I don't need a huge... Like, you would, you just be like, you know what? Like, fuck it all. Especially if your wedding was somehow stressful. Mm. You'd be like... I see that. I just, like, fuck it all. Like, meet me at the chapel. I can see both of us. And here's why I picked you. Right. Because for some reason, I picture... When you're in Vegas, I feel like you just let all your inhibitions go. <laughs> and I feel like you would think it would be hilarious to get, like, an Elvis, like, impersonator for, you know, the... the who is it? The... Who's the one? The yeah, mountain, the, the, the guy that does the <laughs> ceremony. The mountain dude. <laughs> um, like, I think you would just think that'd be hilarious. And, like, it wouldn't be, like, official or anything, but I feel like that would, well, maybe it would be. I would get it annulled. But, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you're not wrong. Okay. I do something that, I'm one of those stupid people that when they go to Vegas, they go to Vegas. And let loose. The ruin. What stays in Vegas? What happens if they stay? I mean, like I've danced in their fountains barefoot before. Oh, look at her. She's so wild. I'm wild. I got kicked out of a casino because they thought we were fighting. We weren't fighting. Okay, we and were just yeah, you will get married. Anyway, Both so were you? Okay, okay. Fine, fine. But I like that yours is like a more like logical mind. Like, ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, who 
who is most likely to have the best um, poker face? You know what a poker face is. Ugh. Okay, well, you looked at me no, like... No, but I'm trying to decide. Okay, well, ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Oh! No. <laughs> really? I'm so honored! Yeah, no, I think We picked was. each other. I said you because, like, I think that you have, like, a... You have a resting bee face sometimes. So... Hi. <laughs> no, 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 no! No. Okay, so I agree with... I think it's both of us again. And I think it's you because... At, and when she's in a position of power, she has to deal with a lot of shit. <laughs> and so you need to put on like a focused like personality and aura and you're really good at that. So if, if it happens that you are in a, a position where you need to put a poker face, I feel like actually you would do it quite well. I don't know. I don't feel like because like, I don't know because I feel like I actually don't have a good poker face when I'm trying to lie. Well, it depends on the lie, to be honest. Like, okay, let's say, like, in the simplest terms, you're actually, like, in, in the game, game, and you have to have a poker face. I feel like you would I, be able to do I it. I don't think I would, because I'd be, if, like, okay, so, like, I would be so, I don't know, I feel like I wouldn't, but I think that you would, I think what it would affect me is, like, I actually think my emotions cause me to, like, okay, not would, have yeah, a good would, poker face, whereas, right. like, I think that you're able to, like, control them in a little bit more okay. than I am. Yeah, I can see that. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, jury's Bye. out. Uh, there you go. Okay. We started off so well in this, and we've since, like, rattled. But isn't that funny, though, how other people see you? Oh, yeah. Like, so that, you but, know. And these are all compliments. Exactly, okay. exactly. Who is most likely to make it to Broadway? Oh, this is the last question. Yeah, it is. Okay. Ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Oh, that's so nice of you. I said both of us. Wow, depressive bitch. No, here's here's the real tea. You would most likely be able to make it over me because you have like the motivation to do. <laughs> I don't. I don't, y'all. Like, if they saw me on the street, like, hey, you want to be cast? And you're like, okay, yeah, bitch, sure. But honestly, like, I don't know. I I feel like you have more motivation than I do. It's just a fact. I'm okay no, saying that. Um, I was like going off of like talent. talent. With my talent, yes, that could definitely. Ew, be but God. like your motivation and like the actual like like game of you know trying to do everything, going to auditions, getting singing lessons. That's you. Thanks. I motivated people exactly. So you take voice lessons. Yeah. <laughs> dead okay yeah all right okay. so that my friends is the end of the who is most likely to i think it's a fun game fun. You know, i really like that okay so you don't have to okay well i need that one okay so oh, yeah. well, wrong. Um, well, 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 that's really sad i'll never really sad <laughs> that sound okay okay so i'm gonna ask these questions okay yeah I was yeah. talking a lot. Okay yeah, that? I'm okay with that. Your Go voice ahead. is probably tired because you were just talking. Can I just so. say, after we're done with these episodes, I wonder why my voice hurts so much. And I'm like, oh, oh it's because we talk. We talk for forever. Yeah, freaking long. I have, like, okay. never talk. Okay, so, <clears throat> fire round. Fire round. First ready. question, ready? Uh-huh. What role from yeah. this season would we cast each other in? Perfect. And we have to guess each other's. Right. Right. So what I think you're gonna cast me as? Oh, oh I don't know how we're wait, gonna do no, it. No, okay, let's just say what, like let's like just say what we would cast each other. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so can I go first? Yes, you can go first. <laughs> it's like obvious. I, okay, so I I know yours. Is, well, there's a couple obvious ones. So I had two. Okay. I would cast you as um as cat. In 10 Things I Hate About You. Oh my god, thank you. You're welcome. And I would also cast you as um, Fiona in Shrek. Oh my god, thank you. Those little roles. That is so sweet of you. I and like Henry Higgins. <laughs> um, I just wanted to throw that in there just for um, Never. I effect. Mean, it was on Broadway. Actually, effect. if it was like all girls show up. For sure. <laughs> okay, so y'all, this was a season for <laughs> Megan Pitt. A lot of her favorite musicals. <laughs> and like her favorite roles. So I'm going to cast you as Kim and Violet Raskin. Oh my god, if you did that, I literally would leave the screen. Uh, no, okay guys. So I have to do two <laughs> because it's just like, okay, so first I was like, Eliza, duh. Yeah. Like, that was fair. But then I was like, oh wait, we should go on fire. So Rose, duh. <laughs> I feel like that's not a big surprise. No. I thought, I knew that was coming. Yeah, so, I mean, 
you know what, we can look at each of these musicals and be like, you could be great at that part. Yeah. Or, you know, you could do that role. But yeah. I think those are, like, the best ones right. for you. For well, sure. and that was the same thing. It's like, you can, you're... We're like, we're talented. We're talented. You can go in every... There's not a show that I couldn't find a part for you, except for maybe History Boys, because they're all boys. Which, side note, if History Boys was going to be done again, I'd want to make it into all girls. Hell because yeah. there are too many all boys shows. Yeah. Mm. But I love History Boys. It's such a good play. Anyway. History of... <clears throat> what's that song? Boys. <laughs> History of wrong guys. Yes, thank Chapter you. one. He said... Bum, chapter two, he's a Not into you. Three, he's a sleaze. Four, he's a girl next door. All right, Five, this is the boy next door. It's not a podcast for Katie Boots, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Here's the next question. Okay. I'm ready. So, we have this final. In all the characters. Right. We've had, right? Through what? Ten episodes? Nine episodes? Whatever that is. Nine episodes. We're going to do, like, what character would you do that with? What character would you do this with? Right. Right. First one, and we're choosing for each other. Yeah. Who would you just love to like marry and have this like lifelong partnership like with? Down with? Like just because you love their personality so much and who they are. Right. Okay. <laughs> this is actually really so hard, honestly. For Delaney, I picked um, Anne <laughs> from Greatest Showman. <laughs> Am I right? Yes! <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Just because I was like, she's the most it's grounded. <laughs> also, but like, she, it's Zendaya. She's the most grounded yeah. character, she and is. she's she an is. acrobat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this was super hard for me for you. So, because we had such a long ass conversation about this, uh huh. I picked Henry Higgins. No. Out of all the people in this season? Yes, I thought, well, there was someone else, but I put him for someone else. I'm wondering who you did. I did Philip from Greatest Showman. Really? Yeah, Zach Efron? Okay, I literally, when I thought about it, I was like, no, Megan would, like, walk all over him. There was no way no. she would marry him. No. What? No. No, I, I can't accept that answer. Oh, well, it's my answer. Wait, okay, like, elaborate more, because I genuinely don't see it for you. <sighs> okay, so it's hard because it's Zach Efron. Um, yeah, like, so like that's exactly part of it. Obviously However, there, but... he is also a producer of plays and stuff like that. So there's a common ground in terms of like we both enjoy the same like things, and like I appreciate the fact that he would like support me in whatever thing that I did, and also like listen, mm. he is okay. a guppy. Look at. He is a guppy in the beginning when like obviously he was too scared to get with Zendaya because right. like the whole racial thing. Um, but then he, he steps out of it and he becomes his own man, so. I mean, oh, okay, that's, like, fine for an answer, but, like, knowing you, like, you, your personalities would not, you need someone that's, like, more, like, fired to them. I just don't believe he has that. Interesting. I feel like he would. But, okay. Mm. Okay. So we're marrying each other. Where are we going? <laughs> <Mar -ish. laughs> okay, uh, all right, next. Who are you going to do the dirty with if you if you would um yeah who would i put for you oh okay yeah all right so <laughs> you gotta go first okay so for you yeah this one, there's so many characters so it's really hard <laughs> okay but like who i feel like you would like okay like, like just say it <laughs> is um patrick verona in 10 things that you <laughs> that's what i put that's why I put yeah for myself. For yourself? Yes. Okay, so right. Okay, okay. so yeah. for Delaney, I put Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> That's so beautiful because we both are like yeah, like so big. many characters, <laughs> so many. But like he's like the one where like yeah, yeah. he'd be. Good. I mean yeah, he'd be good. Oh okay, uh, and I have to think because I know our our IP culture. <laughs> but like I serious the character. We're going with the character. The character. But, like, I think it's because, like, oh, he God. would be, like, <clears throat> passionate, but, like, also, like, rough. <laughs> oh, Mom, yeah, skip ahead. Myself, skip but... ahead. Yeah, skip he's, ahead. Um, Patrick Cronin, for sure. Great. All right, so, who are we going to kill? Okay, I'm going to go first. Okay. Delaney would kill Higgins. That's the <laughs> easiest thing I've ever done. Am I right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh... You're right. Um, yeah. So, I mean, we have a whole podcast where I would kill him. You so, would kill him. So. so, yeah. This one was really hard for me. 
Right. Okay, sorry, that, that was a lot. Um, <laughs> but I think you would kill Bolin in... Good job! Good job I Yeah, I would. That I was the only character Bolin. I remember you actually saying, like, you actively disliked, so... Which is funny because I think that in that podcast, I actually said that I'd kill Bernstein... Because he's just so annoying. Oh, okay, but did you? And like, I said that I would f, but, but no, I but I put but like down out of like everyone. Yeah, I would. Put, I I put down Bolin because okay. like he's misogynistic. Yeah, and like he, I feel like he'd be one of those assholes who would talk over me, and I can't yeah. avoid that. I'm like, yeah. don't talk over me. And we also might uh, kill Comrade Bernie in the film version. Oh God, <laughs> those askins. Um. Okay. Okay. So. When we usually play, like, MFK, we go, like, picnic instead because, yeah. like, that sounds nicer. But we did want to kill people as well. So, now, who would you picnic with? And I, you went first last time. Yeah. So, I think you would picnic with, okay, Eliza because, because you enjoy her personality, you like her feistiness, and I think you guys, I just picture, like, a nice park and you would be... Having a grand old time in the park. I didn't pick her. Okay. I picked Rose. Okay. See, I was going, but I picked her for someone else. So I was going between those so two. So I picked Rose because I think that, like, she'd probably bring her guitar. Like, she'd probably, like, play a little bit. And she, like, we'd probably discuss music. Sounds like an extreme lesbian date, yeah. What? <laughs> her guitar. She oh played it. Oh, my God. She probably a knitted sweater. Yeah. Friends do that, too. Uh-huh. Anyway, so for you, okay. I picked Melchior. And I feel like that's totally I'm random. With? Yeah. Who did I pick for myself? It wasn't Melchior. It wasn't Melchior. Um, Who'd you pick? Can you who read your... Who's, no, did my, you not? My, no, I did. Who did who, I pick? You feel like you have the answer right there. You just don't want to say it. No, I generally don't know. Oh, maybe I picked Eliza for myself. And... Yes. Well... Yes. You picked Eliza for I yourself. Did, yeah. I picked Melchior because I think that he's like super That's interesting. Um, he's like s- super like intelligent. He reads a lot, and I just feel like you guys would have like really would he be, like, like mansplaining things. Though? No, he wouldn't be mansplaining because I think that he is like so like he's interested in like your opinions and like you know what I mean. You guys yes. can go back and forth. Yes. I just think that you guys would have a very interesting conversation. Okay, interesting. It might be boring. Later, yeah, but like okay, I just think okay. that'd be very interesting. Yeah, I okay, that's fine. Um, so but no, so yeah, so it's Eliza. Yeah. So yeah, so it's Eliza. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, okay. Who would you like go on this like nice ass vacation with? Right, Extreme, right. maybe a cruise, maybe Vegas. Like, who would you want to spend like a week with and have fun with? Okay. Okay. I you went first, so yep. I will say yours. Okay. I think. See, but I thought in terms, and I think we did this the last season as well. Mm-hmm. I thought in terms of like, well, who's gonna have the money to pay for like a really good trip? So I picked Claire for you. Oh, I think that you and Claire okay. would like hit okay. some like European cities. Okay. Like she likes to shop, right? I just think that like you guys would like gel <laughs> and triple the money. Okay, so yeah, that's. That's actually really what good did answer. you pick? But well, I picked the same answer actually for both of us. Um, because but it's kind of the same like mindset you're going. Okay, with. okay. So for you, and I also think that we could just all go together because it'd be so fun. <laughs> it's actually Kat from Ten Things I Hate About You. Fascinating. Because maybe she wouldn't be like paying for everything for us, but I just feel like she would just be like a really like cool person to hang out with for like, like that like, long of a time. Right, right. Because she'd like go to the parties and she's like super chill. Right, like, exactly. Because yeah, yeah. like, it's very important when you go on vacations and you pick the people you go with. Like they have to be they low have to be maintenance and just bug, go with yes. the flow. And that's who she is. I had a friendship ruined because we went on a trip together and we were not compatible. Like, yeah, that could do it. Ruined. Do it. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you need to pick these people exactly. wisely. So, I actually styles. picked Conrad Birdie for myself. Vacation? Yeah. So, I thought, I was like, well, he's a rock star. So, like, he's going to get into all these You're, really, oh. like, great things. And the thing is, is that he's, like, I sleep in. He also sleeps in. Like, and it's like, he can go off being full of himself because he's probably going to be surrounded by all these fans, right? But you're by yourself then? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. 
this is so funny your both your answers have to do with like i want the best vacation i want to get in all the parties and like getting i just like listen guys like you just not that i need to be and everything but it's like doors are open that way Mm, okay 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 bitch all right locked in an elevator for specifically specifically eight eight hours hours. who would pick okay so for you Mm -hmm. i picked rose so you were going with rose on your picnic but if you're gonna be locked in an elevator for eight hours, right. it's like the it's like the vacation thing almost. Like you need to be with someone that's gonna be super chill. Mm-hmm. And then if she has her guitar, she can be playing some songs. But um, like she like, wouldn't like it in an elevator because I couldn't get away from it. Okay, but she's not gonna be playing it. Well, she might play it on the way. But I just feel like she would be also chill. And you're like, okay, you can talk and, and talk about some things that you have in common or, or things you have different. You know, nah, you know what I mean. I said Melchior. Okay, why? So I said Melchior because, um, one, you know, like, if we got bored, I definitely wouldn't mind making out with a guy, like, spending a couple of times. So you're going that way. Like, but also because I think that he is a smart individual, like, he reads a lot of books, so maybe between the both of us, we can figure out a way to get out of the elevator. Hmm, okay. Those are, but it's like, it, okay. but if for some reason we can't, yeah, yeah, then I'll just like make out with you. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, okay. Yeah. no sex because when you have sex with people, they die. So, not cure. Oh, I was like, <laughs> not with you. Yeah, a black widow. Okay, um, okay. <laughs> so go ahead. For you, I picked Allison <laughs> from uh, uh, Breakfast Club. Um. Because I think that she's um, weird. I think that she would be very entertaining, but in like a n- not annoying way. Yeah. She'd be very entertaining. Um, I don't think that you would want to like keep her in life because she lies a lot and you, you don't like liars. Um, but I think that for the purposes of the elevator, I just think that she like would entertain you with all the bullshit that she'd come up with. Okay. I mean, I could see that, and I actually do like that answer, because I could see that she also could just be quiet for, like, two hours. Exactly. And I would just be like, oh, okay, I'm done with this. <laughs> um, so, but kind of on, in the vein of Melchior, mm-hmm. I picked Patrick, um, because I just... Did I, you already pick him for something else? You can't pick him multiple times. You already fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> you already picked Melchior for me for picnic. No, no, I didn't pick Melchior for myself, though, yet. Listen, there's a lot of characters I don't oh, want to be involved my with in her thing. You think I'm going to pick Harry, Henry Higgins? I don't think so. <laughs> I Why did you pick Freddy? Because apparently you love that guy. Oh, I haven't right. seen him no. pop up yet. He was in the elevator. I would <laughs> go out of there for sure. Super um, no, but I just like, okay, I understand it. But I just think like he's also attractive and right. he's just like chill. Like why? Like what else could you ask for? Chill and attractive. I don't know if I accept that answer because you already used him for yourself. Okay, but when I was talking about the the banging, it was in the, <laughs> in the elevator. <laughs> Loophole. All right. Okay. Last one. Right. Final question. Final question. Of the podcast. Yeah, make sure I got that right. Okay. All right. Duet with one of the characters. Oh my god! And what song? I didn't even what think song? about that. <laughs> Were you just thinking a duet, like with anyone? No, I mean like stop. Okay, you go first. <laughs> all right, all right. For you? Yeah. The iconic. Dog fights, first date last night. What I'm forgetting his name right now. Bird lace. But what is the actor's name? Jamie or Derek? Well, I was thinking Derek. Derek Clanna. Sorry, Derek Clanna. Um, we haven't talked about it or Jamie. Long since. Uh, like there was no other <laughs> things he fit in, but I know that you like this character, especially our River Phoenix version. Um, so that's. Who I think you would pick the duet with. So I forgot that we were saying a song. Okay. So originally I said bearded woman because I'm like, oh, who wouldn't oh, want a oh, duet oh, oh, oh. Okay, with a bearded saying. woman? Okay, okay, okay. Now that it's a duet specifically, I actually would probably, s- I really want to do Rewrite the Stars. That was my answer. <laughs> For yourself? <Yeah. laughs> but I want to do both of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, depending on the day, you just swap parts. No, we're all singing it together. Oh my god, a menage a trois. <laughs> okay, okay, so, obviously we have good taste. Um, <laughs> wait, did you make mine? Um, yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't Rewrite the Stars. Okay, it was. It was um, that you would do it with Kat in the 10 Things I Hate About You, there'd be a different number of where, just because I feel like you guys have, have the same vibe, you guys would vibe out. You and Ava Noblezada, who is my cat. Oh. I can't remember who I just kept singing of Joy Styles, honestly. The movie version. But, um, it is yeah. what it is. Wow! Wow, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This episode is almost as long as the 10 Things I Hate About You episode. It's almost an hour long. Well, that's okay. When we were getting to know it. Like, I think anyone who is, like, actually going to watch this video was like, oh, I want to know about that. <laughs> They're taking so, notes. So, you, yeah, you, you, you're, you're happy to stay this long. Uh, so conceited. All right, guys. But we're at the end. We're at the end. Wow. Ooh, this has been a long journey. Yeah. And we've had so much fun. Thank you, Megan, for joining me on this journey called Screw the Ingenue. You're welcome, period. Um, right now, we don't have any plans yet. <laughs> we haven't talked about season three. We haven't talked about it yet. Um, there will be a break. Yeah. I'm sure. But if you guys do want to see more, like, Please like subscribe. Um, please tell us. This, right now we have don't... four subscribers on YouTube, guys, <laughs> and one of them is myself. <laughs> one of them too. <laughs> so we have two so people. We have, like, two people. Um, Great. But we have more views. <laughs> They're just randos watching us. So guys, um, but we do really appreciate it. Yeah, we do. Listen, because I know we have some good listeners on on uh, Spotify. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it. So once again. Thank you. And it's a you tight little number. I had to get that in one more time. Remember to screw the ingenue. The ingenue. Exactly. Wow. Bye. Bye.